Canva code is here. Build apps with just a prompt. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you something super exciting. Canva just dropped a huge update at Canva Create and it's called Canva Code. Yes, you heard that right. You can now code inside Canva. I didn't see this coming either. So what is Canva Code? Basically, you just type a simple prompt or even speak to the AI and it builds stuff for you. A website, a widget, an interactive game, or even a small app. And the best part? No coding skills needed. Canva takes care of all the code in the background. How cool is that? So in this video, I'll give you a first look at Canva code, what it can do, how it works, and we'll even try building something cool together. Let's dive in. Now, Canva has already nailed design, presentations, videos, websites, whiteboards, and AI. But coding? That was one of the few areas left. And now they've stepped into it with Canva code. This is part of what people are calling vibe coding. It means you don't need to know traditional programming. Just describe what you want and let AI handle the rest. Tools like PLT, Cursor, and others have already been doing this. And now Canva joins the game. So what can you build with Canva code? Here's what Canva says. You can create interactive experiences using just a few text prompts. Think custom calculators, prototypes, campaign widgets, and the best part? You can embed all of it directly into your Canva design. The demo they showed was a package calculator, which looked really sleek. And yes, this is part of Canva AI. Just go to the home page, click the Canva AI button, and hit code for me. That's your entry point to start coding with Canva. One more thing. Canva code is freemium, so both free and pro users can try it. Free users get limited access using AI credits, and paid users get more. But no matter which one you are, you can still get in on the action. All right, now it's time to roll up our sleeves and build something awesome. Let's get into Canva code and see what it can do. All right, so once you're inside Canva code, you'll notice there are a bunch of templated prompts to kick off your coding project. You've got options like create a pricing calculator for your services, an interactive historical timeline, an interactive restaurant menu, a flashcard game, a countdown timer for your next launch or special offer, a digital birthday card, even a 3D game or an interactive map. Pretty cool, right? Now, here's what happens when you click on any of these. Canva will automatically preload a prompt for you right into the input box. This prompt gives instructions to the Canva AI so it can start generating your interactive experience right away. You can also use voice command instead of typing which makes things even easier. Here's the prompt. Create an interactive flashcard game for vocabulary learning. Start with an example. Spanish language set featuring five common greetings, clean flip animations, and progress tracking. As a follow-up, ask me about subject language to study, specific terms and definitions to include, visual style preferences, additional features, scoring, hints, etc. Okay, let's do it. I'm running the prompt now, and as you can see, Canva is summarizing my request and immediately starts generating some code on the right side of the screen. So right now, I've got this split screen view. On the left is the prompt, and on the right, there's code being generated in real time. And let me be honest with you, I can't read this code. I don't know how to code. But I'm still super excited to see what kind of interactive experience it's going to create. Now, I'm not going to speed this part up. I want you to get the real experience to see just how long it takes to generate a working coding project with Canva code. Spoiler, it's surprisingly quick. And while it's loading, let's take a moment to imagine where this could go. If this really works, if Canva code can build something like an interactive map that I can publish directly as a Canva website, and then just grab the URL and share it with friends or clients, well, that's next level. And what's even better is that I could come back to this same chat, continue prompting in Canva code, and customize my creation further. Now that's powerful. Honestly, this feels like walking straight into the future. Canva really nailed it with this one. I think this is such a bold and smart move by Canva, pushing boundaries, trying new things. And it makes total sense when you think about the theme of Canva Create this year, uncharted territories. Dropping a feature like Canva code? That's a gutsy move and I love it. It also sends a clear message. Canva isn't just a design tool anymore. They're saying, hey, we're an AI company now. You don't just come here to create pretty slides or graphics. You come here to build, to code, to experiment with AI in completely new ways. All right, so next up, 
Let's check out what Canva actually generated. I'm going to preview the app, see how it looks, and try publishing it as a full website. I want you to see how this looks from an end user's perspective, like if you shared this with a client, a friend, or used it in your own project. If you're enjoying this walkthrough and the whole Canva Create vibe, we've got more videos coming your way. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're just getting started with Canva code. And honestly, this is only going to get crazier from here. Okay, let's just do that. So I dropped in this prompt. Create an interactive flashcard game for vocabulary learning. Start with an example Spanish language set featuring five common greetings, clean flip animations, and progress tracking. That's it, simple and clear. Now Canva AI is doing its thing. It's summarizing the request and generating the code right on the right side of the screen. And here's the cool part. While the code is coming together, I don't have to worry about reading or understanding any of it. I'm not a coder, and that's the beauty of this feature. Canva handles all the logic. This whole experience to me feels like stepping into the future. We're not just designing anymore. This is fully interactive, AI-generated functionality happening in real time. Now imagine I want to switch one of the flashcards, maybe change the fourth greeting into something else. I can just speak that out or type it in the chat right here. Canva will keep the conversation going. Update the code and refresh the flashcard set accordingly. It's like I'm building an app with my voice or with one line of text. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Once it's ready, I'll test the flip animations, the progress tracker, and show you how it looks from the user side. Let's keep going. And just like that, Canva updated it. The change happened instantly, right inside the existing flashcard set. No need to regenerate the whole thing. The rest of the cards stayed the same, only the fourth one was replaced with the new greeting I wanted. It felt super smooth, like editing a sentence in a document. Except this time, it was editing the logic and content of an actual interactive game. This really shows the flexibility of Canva's AI. It's not just generating code. It's letting you tweak it in real time without needing to understand a single line of JavaScript or HTML. After making that change to the fourth flashcard, I wanted to make sure everything looked good, so I went ahead and checked all the flashcards one by one. Each card had a clean flip animation, just like I asked in the prompt. I clicked on the first flashcard. It showed the Spanish greeting, and when I clicked again, it flipped smoothly to show the English translation. Same with the second, third, and now the updated fourth flashcard. It was exactly how I wanted it. The fifth one was perfect too. And at the bottom, there was this little progress tracker showing how far along I was in the set, which was a nice touch. It really gave it that polished app feel. Earlier, I mentioned how I changed the fourth flashcard because I didn't like the one Canva gave me. I just typed directly into the prompting box on the right side of the screen, asking it to replace that specific flashcard with my own content. Canva updated it instantly, right inside the interactive flashcard experience, without changing the others. That was super smooth. Now, while Canva lets me publish this as a website, I realized I don't really have full design control within the Canva interface. For example, I tried to change the font or drag and drop photos from the Canva library into the experience, but it didn't work. I couldn't add a banner either. It looks like the whole experience is coded and embedded in my document, but it's not editable like a regular Canva design. Also, I noticed the buttons in the published version didn't actually do anything. I couldn't open or collapse sections. I imagine some of that could be adjusted in the code, but here's the thing. Canva doesn't let me access the full code. I tried asking for it in the prompt, but once it runs, I only see the final output. No way to manually fix the code myself. So while this is an exciting feature, there are still limitations in terms of hands-on editing and customization, at least for now. I've been experimenting with Canva's new coding feature, and now I'm ready to share what I've created. This is a website design that I've built using the platform, and I'm excited to publish it and see how it performs in both desktop and mobile environments. First, I selected all the elements I wanted for my website. Once I hit publish, Canva quickly generated a URL for my site, and I was able to access it within moments. I was curious to see how it would look on a desktop, so I pulled it up on my computer, and it was amazing. The layout looked polished. When I first generated the site, I was really curious to see how it would look on a desktop. So I opened it on my computer, and I was honestly amazed. The layout looked super clean and polished, and everything responded beautifully. 
I could use my mouse wheel to zoom in on different map locations and explore the layout up close. Some of the areas I tested were incredibly detailed, but the highlight for me was testing the flashcard open master feature I built into the site. This is where things really started to feel next level. I created this flashcard system as a learning experience, and the moment I tested it, I knew this project was different from anything I'd made before. The flashcards opened instantly, and I could interact with them to learn new vocabulary and concepts. It felt alive, like a real app embedded in the site. And here's the best part. I could edit those cards in real time, update text, swap visuals, and adjust content without touching a single line of traditional code. Canva gave me full control, and it was super beginner-friendly. Next, I wanted to see how it performed on mobile. I copied the URL and opened it on my phone, and I was honestly surprised at how smoothly everything translated to the smaller screen. The responsiveness was on point. It's one of my favorite parts of this project. The flashcards are fully interactive, and you can click through them to learn new words or concepts in a fun, engaging way. I designed it to be simple but effective, and what really amazed me is that I could update the text and visuals on the fly, no coding required. It's a dynamic learning tool that feels more like an app than a website, and it's all powered by Canva code. Now let's talk about the possibilities with Canva code. You can create gamified campaigns, like interactive contests or scratch-off cards. Build product customizers where users design their own items. Develop interactive maps to guide people through tours, journeys, or location-based tools. Make educational games like quizzes, flashcards, or even mini learning modules. Add simple animations to landing pages to grab attention and improve user experience. The creative freedom Canva code gives you is unreal. That's all for the video, and see you in the next one.